Let's take a look at using uh, auto cabinets for a commercial layout of cabinets. I'm going to select the library. Uh, we'll go to our commercial folder. I'll select uh, just a standard base cabinet here and insert. Let's say that on this layout I want to select distance on screen. I want to put four cabinets across the wall, evenly space them, uh, evenly size them I guess I should say. Let's say I want to go two inches from the end of the wall on both sides. Then I'm just going to select the insert, click the start of the wall, the end of the wall. There's my four evenly sized cabinets. We'll go back to the library. I'll uh, go to a, a wall cabinets. We'll take just a standard upper here. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to say select the distance on screen and I want four. I don't have to worry about the offsets left and right because I'm just going to click on top of the cabinets. So when I go insert, I'm just going to select this first cabinet and the last cabinet. And it's going to come in and put uh, four equally spaced uppers. So as soon as that's done, I have my split view. I have my elevation. Let's uh, take a second and we'll put the tops on. I'm just going to click tops. I'm going to slide this over so you can see what's going on here. I'm just going to tell it to draw the top. I'm just going to click the start in the end and click OK. It automatically extended it past the cabinets one inch each way because that was my default settings here. I'll uh, choose a splash and tell it to draw the splash. I'm just going to click the end of the countertop and the other end of the countertop and tell it OK. So as soon as we've done that, we now we've drawn the uh, layout. If we look at the elevation view. Here's our cabinets. We'll go to our master plan view. This will give you a, uh, to start to work on your submittals, this will give you your plan view and your elevation view in one drawing. I can make it a line drawing by selecting the fill color or the fill button. So we can look at any uh, options we want here. Uh, if I want to create a cross section for these cabinets, I'm going to open this up, select the cross section, choose where I want to take a cross section from. I can either look left or right. Let's just say I want to go back to the left or to the right. I can place this cross section anywhere in the uh, drawing I want to put it. I can come in and also if I want to add details to this, I can come in and easily detail this out. And then I also have the option of bringing in a finished cross section already. If I go to insert a block, it comes preloaded with my typical details. So I'll just take uh, base and wall detail, select insert. I'm just going to slide this over here and we have a finished cross section with all your information done on it for you. Uh, I'm going to take uh, this and if we want to go to code for the router, just click on parts. This brings up our parts list and I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to create the DXF files and also nest it. We'll call this uh, demo and save the job. It's going to go through, create your parts list. I'm going to select OK here. Here are all the parts from the cabinets that we laid out. So we have six cabinets. Um, actually, we have eight cabinets. We have four base cabinets and four upper cabinets. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to uh, nest. It's going to come in and sort all the parts out. It, and these cabinets, we had the quarter inch melamine backs, so it's nested on its own sheets. We have all the uh, three quarter inch melamine material with all of our CNC operations on it, the dados for our back, our line boring holes, drawer guide holes, uh, toe, toe kick notches, all that stuff has been done for you. Um, we're going to go to quick code. 
this flow the G code. That's all you need to do to be able to create your uh, to lay out your commercial cabinets and create G code for a machine all in one program, all seamless, uh, very fast, very slick. Uh, thank you very much for your time.